What up, agents? Prime here. It's Wednesday again, and Cassie has a few decent pieces. Are you ready? Let's go! What up, guys? Welcome to another Division 2 video. Thanks for clicking my content. Really appreciate you watching it. And today, Wednesday, Cassie Mendoza. So let's see if she sells some, some good stuff. First one, the garage. And we can pick that up in the normal vendor relation as well. So this is a little bit of a bummer. Punch drunk, very, very nice. 10% explosive resistant, 20% headshot damage. And then of course, roll that weapon damage a little bit higher. And you have a pretty decent punch drunk. That 20% headshot damage is always on there. But that explosive resistance could be nice. Shield Splinter, 12% Assault Rifle, 16% Health, 9.7% Stability, and of course Perfect Optimist on there. Just leave it here, I would love to see some other attributes, especially that Stability. Striker Backpack, 12.1% Weapon Damage, 8.1% Headshot Damage. Could be decent, but I would love to see that Weapon Damage a little bit higher before buying it for 7.2k. Eclipse Vest with a 10% hazard protection, max capped. You can pick this up as well, could be nice for a combination. Then we got the Negotiator's Dilemma, 11.3% weapon damage, 10.3% skill haste. In my opinion, you don't want that skill haste on there and then that weapon damage is too low to roll that skill haste. Future Initiative Knee Pads, if you still need it for the Regulus project, pick this up. Just like the Future Initiative holster, pick it up. If you already have it, just craft it, guys, because you only have that skill tier. You don't need something else on there, so you can roll whatever attribute on there. So just craft it, and you're already Gucci. Over to the hardwire, same. Craft it, roll an attribute over there, don't buy it, guys. Then the Gav has a max attribute of 5% rate of fire. The rest isn't that great, that rate of fire could be nice, but then again, 5% rate of fire for a whole attribute where it can be 8% damage to armor, no thanks. No thanks for that 5% rate of fire. Resolute MK47, and this is a real bummer for me, because you know I'm always positive. I'm always positive about this game, I love this game, but this is a big bummer for me we can pick this up as well in the normal vendor relation just like that first piece we could buy and cassie should be a secret vendor we need to talk to the snitch we need to find the snitch sometimes it's a hell of work to find that snitch and then coming to cassie and seeing that multiple pieces are for sale in the normal vendor reset already so this is a big bummer for me, don't get me wrong, this MK47, this Resolute, the newest rifle that was added to TU8, is a pretty decent roll. Roll that critical hit damage and you have almost a god roll MK47, but we can pick this up already. So that's a big bummer for me. Over to the Araldi, 12.3% weapon damage, 9% status effect, 9% hazard protection and composure. This looks very, very nice because 1% away from the cap from status effect and hazard protection. But it's a rainbow roll. You don't want this. Or in my opinion, you don't want this. Because that hazard protection could be nice, but then that status effect needs to be something like crit, headshot, something like that, a red core. So you can roll that weapon damage a little bit higher. Because now that status effect won't help you. Or you need a status effect build, but then you don't want that hazard protection on there. So it looks like a pretty decent backpack, but nah guys, just a rainbow roll, leave it here. Sokolov could be nice, could be nice. Roll that weapon damage a little bit higher because the critical hit chance is already decent if you want a SMG hazard protection build. Then we got the 8.7% blind death resistance, could be nice if you're still looking for it. And the last one is the extra sniper ammo for your turret. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for Cassie this week. 
See you next week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button. And of course the notification bell. Pure Prime out.